Hey, it's Ryan Moody here, helping you to fish smarter, not harder. This week, in this week's blog post, what we're going to talk to you about is a little tip. Um, I've, I actually saw it on the internet, it's not my idea, but I thought you guys would like it. Uh, you, you might have noticed sometimes in your tackle box, when you store plastic vibes after you've used them, sometimes their tails will get kinked up. Now if they're left that way for a number of days in your tackle box, it is very, very hard to get the kinks out of the plastic. You can fold them the other way for as long as you like, they just seem to retain a memory. Now there is a reason for that. As conventional plastics, like your paddle tail plastics and your worms and things like that, which affix onto a separate jig head, they are a much softer, pliable plastic. So it gives them more of that lifelike uh, appearance. You can trolley slow, um, you can just bouncing them on the bottom or jig them very slow and still get a great tail action because they're so soft. But the reason why soft vibes are made are of a different material is because they have the inbuilt jig head inside the plastic as well. They also have the wire running through to the tail hook. Now, if that was really soft plastic like these guys, as soon as you got your first bite, the wire tears through the plastic and destroys the vibe. And there were a few brands brought out uh, early on in the piece that actually done that and um, it was a waste of time, they had to change the compound on their plastics. But, um, so that's the reason why these are a much stiffer plastic, because they've got the inbuilt jig head and the wire inside. So, but the only downfall of that is, these guys retain the memory in the plastic. So what we're going to do is show you this little tip, and it'll help you get those tails nice and straight, and get them looking good again. Now, I almost forgot too that, don't forget, different compounds of plastics will react with others. So in your tackle box, make sure you've got the same brand of vibes in the same compartment and the same brand of softer plastics in the same compartments. Uh, oh, sorry, separate compartments for that type of plastic. So in other words, don't store a Kitec with another brand or don't uh, use a quick catch with a Trans Am or something like that simply because uh, the plastics will react and they'll melt together and you'll just have one great big jig head with 16 hooks hanging out of it. <laughs> right, now, back to getting the kinks out. I'm going to boil some water and show you how it's done. Now, I've just boiled some water, and while I'm at it, I thought I'd make a quick cuppa. That's the advantage of doing this. Righto. Now, water, just keep it a couple of centimetres under the brim, if that. Now, what, what you've got to do is dip your vibe. It's best to take the hooks off to do it. Now we put the uh, lure down inside the hot water, mostly the last half of it, and it must be boiled water out of the jug. It can't be just very hot water out of the tap. It must be freshly boiled water. So we're going to leave it in there for around 15 or more seconds. Get it nice and hot. Pull it out. Now we're going to hold that tail and just pull it tight a little bit and keep it nice and flat between the two fingers and thumbs. Just going to hold it there for a little while, let it set as it cools down. And then we have it. Straightened out a fair bit, a little bit more to go between the fingers. Just dunk him in again. Just hold that last little piece down near the tail. There we go, nice and straight. Nice and straight again. So, instead of the putting them all in the corner and just let them build up as old and used vibes, straighten them out, get them looking like a bait fish again, put some new hooks on them, and you're back in business. So if you enjoyed this little tip and you'd like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, or if you want some special tips that I only send out via email, head on over to our website www.rhymedifishing.com and sign up to join our free fishing community. Get into the great outdoors, keep fishing smarter, and I'll see you next time.